Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing, man? Good. I'm Corporal Hudson, Payton Police Department. This is Officer Surratt. We got sure, a call. Sure, I know Stay a few please. of you guys. Good. I talk to your chief on the phone all the time. Good deal. We got a call. We just kind of see how see what's going sure. on. Sure. Basically, I'm just back here standing by security, watching out for the cars and stuff. Apparently, uh, the hell you even need today for what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But we, I'm with a 2A Northwest uh, Arkansas stand. We also do the Back to Blue rallies. We did one here okay. about a month ago. And at that time, there's some controversy going on. So we always like to have somebody armed just as a backup. Okay. Uh, just constitutional, not yeah. looking for trouble, very peaceful. So we, we just, we've we been just watching for about five or ten minutes in the normal. Yeah, yeah, as a matter of fact, I got a, my motorcycle overheating. Uh, I'm dumping bottles of water in it. I saw you over there with the water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but all our groups are tied together. We're all patriots. Yeah. These these ladies here are strictly save the children. Mm -hmm. That's what I it, thought of. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, they didn't really need me that much. But they said, Rich, would you just be there just in case? It gives them a feeling of safety. Is your we goal to be up there consistently or kind of? I, I'm not even up there. I'm sitting back here watching the cars and looking at I know you walked up, walked back. Okay. The only reason I did that was because I went to get a bottle of water. And I okay. realized the cooler wasn't there. Okay. I'm just standing back here. So your your measured approach is to be close, but not but every not, driver yeah, car. I don't want to be up there with a sign in the forefront. I'm Without just, that, you would be different. But why I'm start just back with, here watching the cars. It, they got my phone number. Other somebody, people, yeah. Other people if somebody gives you. me a jam, I'll dial 911. I'll walk down there and try to okay. call me. Uh, yeah. Dissipate the situation. Other people might not like this, and that takes away from the real message. Exactly. Right? So yeah. Exactly. Right. And that's how we plan it. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, it, it totally screws our message up. Perfect. So. Now, on the other hand, I will tell you, now, I haven't picked a location yet, but I am Second Amendment, you know, and I have constitutional rights. My group is to, of course, I have Patriot Security, which is a free service, but also I have a 2A NWA stand, which is 2A Second Amendment. And I haven't chosen a location. I don't know if it's going to be Fayetteville or Springdale yet. But I'll just let you know in advance. I'll even call y'all because I always do. I always call the chief or one of the dispatchers or one of the sergeants on call. And uh, we will all be armed. But we will be very peaceful. It's just a show of force and, a, and also just to get together and know each other, know who's got each other's back right. if we need it. Uh, I'm probably going to avoid Fayetteville simply because there is some BLM and Black Lives Matter. I mean, in Antifa here, mm -hmm. and which I've met and have words with. Mm -hmm. And so we're thinking since we don't want to be confrontational, I'm probably not going to be Fayetteville. Hey, but a lot of it is, hey, but a lot of it's going to have to do with a lot of it's going to have to do with where most people live, uh -huh. you know. So, so it could be fatal, and if it is, I'll call y'all, okay. and that'll be next week. Now, after that, if you're interested, because like, are you are you a mother? No. Okay. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. In Stillwell, Oklahoma, on a tent, we're doing a photo shoot for Save the Children. Okay. It's mothers and daughters. And I've got a bunch of really old trucks, 53 Chevy, oh, nice. rusty trucks, really cool stuff. And I'm going to stage them in a field over there and professional the photographers are going to come over. And they're going to film, they're going to for free photograph mothers and daughters together and all that. And But what we are having to do, everybody comes to get involved, pays $20 for a t shirt. And every bit of that money goes back in to save the children. Okay. So, yeah. So basically, we're we're doing a lot here with a lot of different groups. We're all interacting with each other. We all know each other, mm -hmm. and we are totally peaceful. Mm -hmm. uh, we're constitutionalists. We believe in freedom of speech. Uh, it don't matter right now. The only man in the state of staring at my face and scream at me, and I just smile at them. They have the right. Oh, yeah. If they get obnoxious or touch me, I'm probably gonna slap them. But you know, other than that, we're good. Okay. So, I think a lot of it is just that we. Uh, but you will have get calls. I get more calls than Facebook. We do have people who. Don't do it in this manner. I know, I know. And it gives a bad light to those trying to do it the right exactly. way. Exactly. They're walking Here's around a, like, oh, you have yeah. a sling. Yeah, mine's behind clean. my back even, you know. You're not in. Yeah. Dirty. I don't want people you to see You actually have a polo on. You're, yeah. you're politely dressed and a normal yeah. person on a Sunday. Uh, a lot of and, people and I know exactly, into it. Well, I'm going to tell you. I know exactly what you're up with. I'm going to tell you why. There's a group that's a national group, and they're called Freedom Fighters. Okay. And they have local chapters. They've gone from they've gone from basically from. And I'm not saying anything about it, about all of them, but you get so big, you got a bunch of bad apples you oh, can't yeah, control. Yeah, yeah. And that's why my group's very small because I can control them and mm -hmm. make them understand. We're we're equal rights. I've got Hispanics in my group. I've got blacks in my group. We're just patriots. Mm -hmm. we're, we're constitutional. Anything about the Constitution, that's who we are. But this is a really funny story. A few months ago, I was contacted by the freedom. What what are the freedom fighters? No, it's a. Uh, Freedom protectors, okay? okay. And y'all might have had a run in with them or two, but the thing is, most of them are cool, but you've always got the bad apples, right? Mm -hmm. Well, when they, they, they break up into four state areas, which is their district, okay? And they're supposed to be constitutional and everything. After that four state district, they break up state to state and they have state lieutenants in it on down the county, right? Well, they contacted me to run a four county area here. I built it up for them to a thousand soldiers, a thousand, you know, militia, okay? And I had a meeting, a meet up here for Back to Blue. And a lot of the guys joined me, and some of them got out of control, and I had to send them home. Mm -hmm. 
And after that, uh, not national, but state contacted me and said that I was interfering with their operations and all I was doing what they teach is constitutional. And so they decided to block me from the group. And that's when I realized that these groups can get too big and you can't control them. It's kind of like the, the uh, NFAC, the black group. They're so big, you can't control them. They don't know weapon control. They're shooting each other. Yeah, you know, this is bizarre, you know? So what I've done constitutional is... Constitutional and professional yes, can go together. Yes, So what I've done is... And by the way, I'm a retired firefighter out of Memphis. Okay. And all my family's police department. And I live in Gravit. And all the Gravit cops come out and shoot at my private shooting range. So I'm, I'm very involved. Good deal. Yeah, yeah. And so anyway... I like that you have an understanding of law. And you have... Yeah. If you did something ill-advised here, you would not just affect yourself, but... You represent your well, friends, you, what your you family. do is you destroy. Well, not like you destroy the integrity of the groups that you're representing. And just those yeah. simple friends that are yeah. firefighters yeah. and that kind of thing. Yeah. So I think we kind of know the most. What is the plan uh, as far as time frame today? I believe they want in. What time is it now? They got late start. I think they were. They plan on ending at five o'clock. But okay. since they got a late start, and I'm leaving it up to them. But I would assume everybody's gonna want to go home and eat about five thirty. Okay. okay. So that, that's my guess. Our rough estimate. That's my rough um, estimate. Yeah. May we have your name and date of birth? Absolutely. Would you like to see my ID? Just give, right, yeah. No, no, I'll actually give it to you. Get it right off my ID. She's going to document that and then your Absolutely. phone number and stuff. We have and it. I'm documenting with you guys a few times. Perfect. I've had some good Does anybody plan on taking your spot for like... You take a break and someone else comes in armed? No. So the only... No, no, it's just me. Sure. Now, we do have a couple concealed carry here. Okay. But they're... I they're, think I saw one at your... Uh, are you, there's another group down at... Dixon yes, and, they're at the other end and the gentleman's a little think, bigger than me. I, think I know got, what I'm looking for. I think I saw it. He's got... I think he got a red t-shirt on. He was one carrying the cooler. And I think he's actually... I don't think he's even uh, uh, hiding his either. I think he's open. I think I he's think when I saw it was covered, yeah. and I, or that of the wind blew it up, I was like, and that then might the be. Gentleman, and then the gentleman with red hair that's driving the black. Uh, so there's only three of us armed here. The one that walked up a second ago? Yes, yes, yes. I believe he actually has license for concealed, though. Mm. I didn't see he his wasn't, gun. He wasn't a Penix carrying at least. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's crashed. I saw his waistband then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, phone number? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes. Can I get a good phone number for you? Yeah, 479 790 6436. You can have contact. So, so uh, yeah, I was actually pretty upset. I don't even live in Fayetteville. Well, we do a lot here. Oh, yeah. I was actually pretty upset. And I'm glad the city painted over it pretty quick. I saw the news. I saw where they went out here at the railroad bridge. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. All pigs must die and all that ridiculous, stupid stuff. So I actually went down there in front of it stood, as it was painted over. I stood in front of it and did a constitutional speech on freedom of speech and how you're going too far and all that. What's the group that's doing the... This uh, one is actually Save the Children. Save the Children. Save like the that Children. Notes. We'll remember a bit. And it's all about... Now here, here's my gentleman. I'm not sure if he's open or if he's... Uh, he, he wasn't then because he's swimming trunks. If he is, he's got a really. He's might he might be concealed. If he's, and he just well, pulled the U-turn. <laughs> yeah. If he's uh, if he's carrying, it's gonna be four o'clock and it's gonna be poorly there because his trunks were down. Oh really? So he I'm might have put it in his car then. Probably I imagine so. he put it in his car. Yeah. I imagine he wanted him tighter. I mean, yeah, yeah, he's not carrying now. He yeah. must put it in his car. Uh, she's going to give you a contact card that shows who made contact with you and why, and it's a number of the yeah, And what's your first name? Dane. Dane? Good Dane. to meet you, Dane. That way, if you have any issues like that, then also we have vetted you to some degree what we can lawfully and willingly do that you allow us. Sure. Um, the only thing I would be concerned about. I my and other than stepping on my toes, I'm going to be so uh, just so open with you. It's, it's perfect. Ridiculous. And that's the way it works. You, you, guys, you, guys, yeah. you guys are part of my team. We love yeah, you. Deal. you know, the only thing I would be concerned about that I haven't really thought about in the past. Is being on Simple. this is obviously sidewalk right, right, right. up here where your car is yeah. that even though it's publicly funded property oddly enough, open oddly carry on that. And oddly enough, and I actually was up to state capitol the other day, so I, I can help kind of help you with that. So you know for the future, and I met with the capitol police chief Hedden, and we're actually good friends now, the mm -hmm. capitol state police, because we went up there and served in Asia, and he said the deal is I'm have to watch this because I am loaded, and so I'm I'm actually now I'm within the law. Okay. I can carry on the property unloaded. I cannot go in the building. I can carry on the property, but I have to be unloaded. That's I know the there's some, law. There's some, some now, have discretion depending where you're at as far as property is, or inside yeah, building. But, but it is discretion of the officer, but it's best for me when I, of course, I am the day, but it's so bad, you know, it's just easy going. But technically, on that parking lot, I forgot about on the parking lot, I should not be, I should be so unloaded. I was thinking too, not yeah. something that's a big deal. Yeah. It would be more of a primary concern to open my, hours too. Right, and I think that has something to do with The threshold, it. every level changes perception. What happened was I actually had called Hedden and got to talk to him, and he's state capital chief. And, uh, you know, uh, I got to talk to him and he's, I said, look, I'm trying to find a way because there's actually a, a in law, there's actually a, uh, I don't know what to call it, uh, I don't want to say a statement, it's not, you know, like a lawful 
what would you call it? Like a amendment or whatever? Yeah, probably. It, it, within, it's not an amendment because that's in the Constitution, but it's within the law, within the state law. Like a case precedent? Case precedent. There, there's a case precedent is probably what it is. And he was telling me about it that technically, he said, I don't know you well enough yet. I don't do it. But technically, even on state or federal property, even if you're not law enforcement, but if you're there to assist law enforcement, that like do something lawful to help law enforcement out, mm -hmm. you can actually carry into the building even mm -hmm. with loaded. Now, now, he said, but I can't, he said, I can't do that for you this time. Like, I could say, hey, Richard, here's a, uh, to help me with ca crowd control. Because we rarely, rarely I think it's, ever. it's got to be upon request as opposed to upon, a, yes. you're assuming I need help. Yeah, exactly. And he it, has to call me and say, Richard, you're yeah. invited down to help us with crowd control. It has to be by, by request. And okay? by law, if I was a defense lawyer for you, for instance, and yeah. the argument about parking lot as opposed to inside is, so if you're driving <laughs> all around, all legally, safely, open carry, closed yeah. carry, however you want to do it, and you have to come in to get your tags. Right. Well, do you stop here and like, Put unload? it in your car, yeah. unload, put a parking lot, you're in a park, clear, safe area. You unload and or safe or however you decide and then walk in without anything because now you have to jury court or whatever, you know. Right, right, right. So you have an opportunity in a park safe spot before you breach. So that's what I would argue. That, 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 and you're correct on that. And matter of fact, that's what I did up at the Capitol. And it's, but it's I went specifically I went, in law. Yeah, I went loaded. That's reasonable. Yeah, I went loaded and I had to park. So I parked on Capitol grounds, but before I left my vehicle, I unloaded. And then I got out of the vehicle, which I'm still sitting on property ground, so it's really touchy. I mean, if you went to court, it I think could it's go reasonable. Way. So, for instance, uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's reasonable it. discretion is what I think, I think you would consider. Female family members of mine uh, conceal carry, yeah, and they're not going to just leave it at home, yeah, to come here and do their tax. But they can't leave it in the car because it's not safe. Somebody can steal. But it. they don't want to leave. But you don't know if you're going to pull over at a injured person. Right. or whatever right so they would drive here and then she would remove her small purse out of her big purse yeah. leave the big purse that's got the gun take the small purse into the tags then when she comes here and she says oh i forgot to go to walmart or wherever yeah she goes there and something happens she still has access. you can't you don't want to deny someone you can deny inside but you don't deny the travel because what if right. it's a 25 mile journey exactly yeah and that's, why, miles, and that's why the law, and that's why the law it's kind of weird how it's worded but that's why the law actually has the word travel in it or journey, or okay. rather, hey, but you also got to argue. Oh, hey, man, uh, a good point. Yeah, we need to talk. Is, uh, okay. is the uh, um, yeah, spirit, of, spirit of the law. Oh. I can actually use the pressure. Perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, the you. spirit oh. of the law is supposed to the letter oh. of the law. Oh, okay. it's a great okay. teaching point yeah, of what to know. Yeah, we're talking. What do we? How do we know each other? I'm sorry, I got your face. You arrested me before. Good. Wow. Oh, no. That's uh, never again. before. I'm doing mine. Probably being a dickhead. You know, you're in the you breach. Good now. now? What was? <laughs> uh, honestly, I'm, I can't remember. Uh, hey, yeah, I got was it a time when things, things were done, but now's are better? No, I think it was time when somebody else was done, and it kept me from going to jail. Honestly. Mm. That kind of thing. So. Yeah, okay. I just have very, very little patience with stupid shit. Such okay. Such as molesting, such as breaking in wow. my door, uh, robbing my car, shit like that. But I don't remember being like anything where I'm like, I want to remember this face because he's going to fight me next time. It was just like, I think we did something. Which is no, a good thing. I think, no, I <laughs> think I actually. Because after almost time. 11 years, it's like. Well, he's like, pretty big, but you look pretty healthy, so it yeah. could go either way. Uh, <laughs> what's, what's, the, what's the movie? A uh, watery, whatever he says. <laughs> don't mess with the wiry guy. Yeah. Um, I can't after remember, many years honestly. of doing this, uh, the faces get the same, but I'm like, I recognize, but <laughs> the ones that I know that's dangerous, see, I back put to like When I was like this tall to about 18, I was a heathen. So. And then I started working, uh, logging, and it changed everything about me. And then I have built a work so. ethic and a pride in yourself. Yep. That's, that's yeah, the I common thing of stupid to doing well. Is feel like yeah. you're worth something. Yeah. And a little money in your pocket. Did help. I did help you somewhat. Probably I so. So I feel like it wasn't a bad encounter. Yeah, I think I did help you. Uh, are you familiar with American War Horse MC? So I used to, I used to help. I used to ride with them, and they would help some of the officers on Dixon at uh, Saturday nights, and I was there. Dude, I ain't been on nights in over five years, so I'm, I don't know. Man. I'm, I'm sitting up. I'm blessed to be on days. I closed one line, uh, or closed line one dude, and I uh, can't remember his name. He's, he's bald, and he used to wear glasses. I don't know if he still does. If it was many years ago, it'd been Kocheski. No. Just a couple years ago. I've been since probably about two, three years ago. 
I had to I, I, he works with the. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I've been seeing about it. He's a blonde. But anyway, the bottom line is that he's not a street officer. Oh, John Hayden? Yeah, he probably Hayden. They rotate out a year at a time on nights. And he's back on days now. So probably Hayden, he's the only ball line thing that's been there recently. Yeah. Like a year and a half, two years ago. Yeah. So we went in uh, uh, yeah. hey, we got a Guys, we'd love to sit and talk. There's a disturbance coming out on the radio. Um, hey, yeah, go ahead. Do you have any questions? Even with a nice person, thank you. We still don't do that because if you over gripped. Do you have some Surratt's out in the garbage? But if I do it for you and I forget the next guy, they can inadvertently built a bad habit for me. Probably. So I, I mean, keep a good habit. Okay, okay, because there's something I teach her. You know, even original. here, I'm still at a stance and conversation. I'm not like, oh, let's hang out. Yeah, yeah, there's, 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 we move a corner. That was, that was, that was that's place. strategy, yeah. too. So instead of leaning like this. So the yeah. habit, I train her all the time. Like, you build your bad habits on good people because you're like, he's not going to need me. Yeah. But that's, sometimes yeah, it's, it's, how it's, instinctual it is to shake hands. Just like the the. My thought was the guy that at the Wendy's parking lot or whatever, where he's like getting like your training has to tell you if somebody fires something at you, you are trained. And that's some science fire. there that, that, that that'll come out in court at some point. So yeah, we'll suck around. We'll let you guys and do your thing. We'll 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 we'